How are ladies and gentlemen? I'm right here with Osho High himself. What's good, bro? How you doing, man? I'm good, man. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, this is Eric Osho High, and yes, I came to catch him in the gym. <laughs> As usual, he's a fitness guy. So how you doing? How's it been so far? I'm good, man. Awesome. Tell us about it. Um, Eric is um, obviously a fitness expert, yeah. bodybuilder, powerlifter, actor. I act too. I you know. Um, I'm also a model, so a lot of different things put into one guy. So Eric is a bodybuilder, a fitness instructor, <laughs> an actor, a bodybuilder. <laughs> okay, so he's not a street dancer. So. No, 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 no. <laughs> so um, how was how was the experience getting into the house, the Big Brother house? Type? What was the experience? Getting in. Yeah. It was a lot of hope. Because you know the whole process, you can't know what's going to happen. Okay. So it's just you just be yourself because they want to know the kind of person you are. You are. Yeah. So just you be yourself and you know just hoping to get in. So so a lot of hope, like I said, a lot of um, trying to say the right things. In, in which case, there's no right thing to say. You can just be yourself. So I was myself. I did what I had to do. And I see. It I see. So as usual, your your time in the house was two weeks or three weeks. Yeah, two weeks. Three weeks. <laughs> okay. So and. Obviously, when you got into the house, you, you met a lot of people. Mm -hmm. You understand? How will you describe the people you met in the house? If you can mention names, the personalities, and all of that, how will you describe the ambience of? You know, from people who are watching outside is different. Yeah. But when you're in the house itself, I, I saw a particular video where I was seeing Kidwari has him for the Pepsi challenge, and the view I saw was totally different from what you see on camera. So, what from what you've been what, watching it right now, and you've been in the house, what will you say to us? And when I came out of the house, I, that when I understood that um, you don't get to like see the person. I couldn't be led out. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's different from outside because okay. and when I came out, I started I don't know, I started liking some house more than I did when I was inside the house. Oh. So it's like you might not see because you're inside the house, so you don't see everything or like the viewers, they see different parts of you, but, of you. but you only see the part you talk to the other person so the thing i noticed here everyone in that house is special okay like everyone has their own quality like if you talk to this person like you're talking to someone like kid wire he's like he said he's um he calls him, he calls himself um what do you say like he likes to network he likes to network yeah. connect he network. likes to network yeah. so he knows how to talk like he can let you buy his pen mm. he's that kind of person so you just when you talk to them you just realize different things about them so being in that space with just 19 different people from different backgrounds because everyone there have lived different lives these are people that i wouldn't have met if not for big brother yeah. so let me just go ahead of myself and ask you like you've seen a lot of them right now from mm -hmm. the from the personality level, who would you want to connect with outside of once the game's over connect with i believe everybody okay yeah because i believe everyone has something to offer and i believe i can offer them something too so okay. it would be like a very good uh, partnership when i meet them outside okay. so okay. looking forward to what have you been into since you left the house after the eviction so I left the house. Okay, I've been to apart from the media, media rounds and everything. I set up my YouTube channel. So I've started making content. Watch out for his YouTube channel, Watch guys. Watch out for my YouTube channel. I've started making content, gym content. Fantastic. I posted one. I still have others um, in the file. So as YouTube channel grows, I keep posting stuff. You've posted on your YouTube channel? No, I haven't yet. Okay, you haven't. Yeah, I haven't yet. So um, also, I'm going to get into acting. So I've been meeting people, trying to get, get roles Great. and all of that. So You've been a very good actor. Content. Yeah, thank you. Uh, you'll be like the... <laughs> Ah, I don't, I'm looking at the kind of roles you gotta play, you gotta play in, in movies. If you could go back into the house, what, what would you do differently? Like go back, yeah. Yeah. I mean, the way the game is set up now is your housemates taking you out of the game. So yeah. you have to go back to the game. Would you want to take somebody out? No, no, no. Okay. <laughs> if I go back to the game, yeah, I'll just interact more with the housemates. With the housemates. Yeah, I'll interact more. Who do you think was the fakest housemate or the most difficult housemate in the house? Difficult. I, I needed to mention the name. Somebody you've seen the show outside of the house. Difficult. I don't know about fake though, because I didn't like study anyone to that extent. But I think difficult. Someone that proved to be difficult. I don't. I that, that doesn't flow well with the house. There's somebody that backstabs. You know, because from our own point of view, we see what the camera shows us. You cannot even see. You don't know what somebody's saying in the lounge or in the kitchen. Yeah, exactly. So, but from what you've seen outside, and from what you've seen on social media. Who do you think is like a very terrible person? <laughs> nah, I can't say. I don't know. I haven't like studied them to that extent to know who is like terrible. <laughs> yeah, so I can't Look, say. I'm going to specifically talk about Brito right now. You see what's okay. on social media for Brito. Him saying uh, praise his fiance is 62 years old. <laughs> I mean, he telling Kid Wild that I'm going to say hurtful things to praise, you know, so that I can cry and all of that. Are you serious? 
Oh, you didn't see that? No, I didn't see. Ah, why people? Are you not on social media? Yeah, okay, but I mean, Brito was telling was telling was telling everybody that you know, Kid Wise. Uh, I mean, Crazy's fiance, sixty-two years old. Is she sixty-two? She's not sixty-two. She's not sixty-two. <laughs> I don't know. I don't. Know. Maybe that's his game. Maybe that's, that's his, his game. game. Yeah, I believe he's the, he wants to maybe make people have um, confrontation or something. But, okay. Um, so can, I need to mention three people you tip to win the show itself. Um, from the fans, I see that they've gathered, man, you know, to win. I say, um, maybe Lekon, um, Nengi, or say Dorothy. Yeah. Dorothy. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I want to move into relationships right now in the house. New and V. What's your What's your thoughts on them? Um, when I was there, yeah. I believe they were they had something, something that could work out after. But after when you came day. out? Yeah, still the same. Okay. Yeah. Do you think Prince and Tolani Badge will work out? No, I don't. I don't think. I don't think it was that kind of relationship that they wanted to pursue outside the game. Yeah. Who do you think Tell anybody has something for? Apart from Prince, I don't know. There was a new issue yesterday. Oh yeah. About how like a new. I didn't. I didn't know about that. Where else are you? You know social media. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know about that. Okay, what do you think about Kid Wire? I'm sure you've heard a lot about Kid Wire and Erika. Mm -hmm. What do you say about Kid Wire and Erika's relationship? I believe Kid is playing the game. Okay. Kid very, is playing the game. Yeah, he's a very smart guy. I believe okay. He's just playing the game. He's yeah. not real in the relationship sense. I don't think so. Okay. I don't know. I don't think so. And what's your advice to Erika? <laughs> she should play the game too. Hmm. <laughs> she shouldn't be all emotional about it. Yeah, but it happens. <laughs> what, what other hidden talents do you have apart from acting, fitness, that we do not know about? I'm a great basketballer. I play basketball. I thought I was going to go pro, a point in my life, pro. Oh, okay. Yeah, before I got hot and got hot and so. Oh, yeah, you, you, you spoke about it in the yeah, house, yeah. But, you, but you don't, you're not going to be basketball go, anymore. Going pro? No, I don't think I'm going okay. pro anymore. Are you in a uh, relationship right now? No, I'm not. I'm single. You're single? Mm -hmm. So you're like, you're, you're open to a relationship right now? Yeah, I'm open to a relationship. What's your, what's your kind of woman? Um, God-fearing. <laughs> we know. It's not God-fearing. Right, right, right. You know, these people can scam you. They come. God fearing, mm -mm. like why are you a devil's girl now? <laughs> so, God fearing, yeah. yeah. Um, um, cute smile, um, fine face. Cause I've been looking at the face a lot, so you gotta have a fine face. Man. Okay. Yeah. So I want to ask them, what if when Tony walked up to you today, I said, you know what, I like you and I want us to go out. Nah, it's not happening. <laughs> a lot of fans outside said, oh, so why can I eat too much? Mm -hmm. In fact, it was crazy that it, the day Lilo was evicted, you, you ate. They said you even asked for Lilo's portion. <laughs> <laughs> so people were really yeah. mad. People were really furious on social media. Yeah. Like, I can't show high just come and see. They were even saying, ah, Teddy was crying when Bamba was evicted. I said, that's Teddy and Bamba. But for mm -hmm. you, man, did you feel bad when she was evicted? Of course, I did. I feel as bad. a guy, you moved on. Yeah, because um, I felt bad. Like, I was really down for I'll say, people that noticed, Notice that I was down for about two days. Okay. Like I didn't get myself there maybe to like Wednesday or stuff. But um, obviously I was sad when she left. Then my guys came to talk to me. You notice I pulled out to New York and I was yeah, in yeah. the house. So they came to talk to me like, bro, you came here for this and this. You know why you're here. Don't let this um, mess your game up and all of that. So I just had to try to shake it off. I know if um, before the whole eviction thing, I used to eat normally now. So if I wasn't not eating, it would have been obvious that oh. This thing is holding this boy down. I didn't want that old pity. Yeah. People coming to meet me, say sorry, and all of that. So I just tried to like act normal, even though I was down for a while. But I, didn't but I don't blame you. You need to eat little portion because she's a girl. Now. <laughs> oh, right. But now, you must have felt pain when you came out and you heard what she said, saying you were a distraction. Mm -hmm. How did that make you feel? You felt heartbroken? No, I didn't. I was surprised, though, but I wasn't um, heartbroken or anything because she didn't lie. Because you know, no one wants to be the first person to leave the game. Okay. You so you felt you were a distraction to me. If she says I was, then yeah, I was a distraction. Was she a distraction to you? I, I didn't see it that way. Because I didn't know what um, people outside were saying. Because at the end of the day, they're the ones that matter. We, yeah, so they were not enjoying what was going on between us. So I that cost um, the whole eviction thing. If they were enjoying it, we would have still been in the house and she wouldn't have said that. So I get it. Everything is just, you know, it's what it is. So your favorite, your favorite moment in the house, what was your favorite moment in the house? I enjoyed the Patricia task. I, I can see the phone. Patricia stuff behind your phone. Too. <laughs> <laughs> I can see the Patricia stuff behind your phone. Yeah, yeah, I enjoyed the Patricia task um, okay. and the gift that came with it. And, um, what was the gift that came with it again? Um, there was, it was a cash prize. 
on the lottery card. Five hundred dollars. Five hundred dollars okay. in Bitcoin. In yeah, Bitcoin. so that was that was. I felt good when I won that, and okay. um, it, I enjoyed the tax too, and the parties, of course, <laughs> Saturday parties. So in short, there's nobody you're going to keep at arm's length that you'll be far from after the whole show is over. No, nah, I don't think so. Because I, I just believe that it's a game. Man. Like, people came there to play the game. If they find your own, they find my own. That's what I just believe. So, when people say put you up for eviction or say stuff, it just, it's when we come out of the house, you know the kind of person you really are. Okay. Yeah, so, I believe if, okay, let's say everyone comes out now and you don't steal on vibe to a certain yeah. level, then, okay, maybe I know my kind of person. I get it. But inside the house, it's different. I feel it's different. Like, you can't really know who you are because I believe yeah. most people are just trying because to it's win. The game. They are trying to win. And five million is enough to fight for. My guy. Yeah. <laughs> if I uh, they give you a five million, it's enough to fight for. It's right? enough to it's fight enough. for. If you love good food, yeah. Would you give a shot at having a food business? Like maybe it will show high grills or Eric grills. Yeah, it's in the plan too. So, um, having like a food business, like a, on my YouTube channel too, I will have something related to food on it too. So it's a lot of things coming up. So yeah, watch food. out. I also oh, yeah? do food. Yeah. But that's a good one. That's a good one. Fantastic, guys. So give a shout out to all your fans who are supporting you. are still supporting you. Yeah. So I just want to say a big, big, big thank you to all the Eric Maniacs out there, to all Eric my Maniacs. fans. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Everyone will be supporting me while I was in the house. And two weeks after I got evicted, you guys are still behind me. My Instagram family, I just got to 100k followers, and that's nice. surprising to me because the love just keeps growing. So I just want to say a big thank you. Watch out for my YouTube channel. It's coming out. We're going to be having fitness tips lifestyle some acting movies short movies gonna be coming out um also some food related videos so right watch out. everything is coming out to you great yeah thank you so much guys for watching until next time i come your way that's bye for now